I love an unexpected twist on Christmas. And here's what's unexpected about this collection. Number one, if you're like me, when you first started decorating flock trees, I would always think of putting only soft colors on a flock tree, right? And then I realized, oh my gosh, everything looks good on a flock tree. And look at how everything pops on a flock tree. And look how beautiful it is. When I'm gonna focus on gold, put in some black, add a little red, Oh my gosh, is that amazing. So I love this collection. I think there are so many things in this that are gonna be so beautiful in your tree. I can't even begin. Okay, let's start over here because these are fabulous. So these are these beautiful little candle rings and you're gonna have the smaller ones and you're gonna have the larger ones. Here's the smaller, but look how it's not just berries. You have teeny tiny berries and you have little iced berries and you have regular berries and you have crystals and you have more reds and you have more burgundies and tiny little delicate green leaves and these are all moldable. So I love these. You can use it as a little wreath. You can put a candle in it, whatever you wanna do. You can just put it over the branch of a garland. You can do whatever you want with it. I love this in a tree. I love this in a garland. I love this anywhere you want. So you're gonna see them there. By the way, here's the larger one. This is gonna be eight inches, and it's again, perfect hanging and perfect with a triple wick candle in it. It's also gonna be perfect if you wanna use either of these to anchor um, a candle holder or an angel or whatever you wanna put in it. So I love using those so many different ways. Now, when you come to the tree, I have a hard time deciding where to start because there's so many things I love on the tree. But I have to say, oddly enough, I want to start with the crab apples. Now, the reason I want to start with the crab apples is that usually at Christmas time you have red, which is holly berries, or you have cranberries, or you have pomegranates. These crab apples are the most rich, beautiful way to decorate for Christmas. And I love that you can go very rustic. I love that you can go very historic. I love that you can go very formal. This is obviously very rich and it's all beautiful. So these are the crab apple sprays. And if you look at this, you're gonna see all of this all the way back to here. This is one spray plus the stem and you're gonna get two of these in an order. So it's a lot, right? I love these. We used these all down around um, the ribbon and they're so beautiful. We also added this crab apple garland, which I love. That's something I've always thought about doing is making a garland for the tree and I haven't done that, but I think this looks like you did and I absolutely love that. Now going from what could be rustic to what is very formal, these holly branches are amazing. So one of the things I love is that the shape of the leaf is very delicate. You know, it really has the beautiful curves and points. You have a lot of leaves on a branch. You have it in that beautiful gold. You have the beautiful glitter. We use this all up the tree and then hello, sunshine at the top. There is just no wrong way to use these. They are gonna be this pop of rich, beautiful, delicate, just, oh, I love it. So I love these and you're gonna get three of these in an order and I think they're stunning. Speaking of absolutely rich, oh, right here. This is one of my favorite European glass ornaments of all time. It's so beautiful in this matte gold and you have this delicate, beautiful little golden glitter in the wreath and then this beautiful little holly berries and leaves and then this little bit of, of green. Very rich, very elegant, very delicate, all made by hand, beginning to end by European artists. I love that. Speaking of European artists, Here's another European glass set. You're gonna get two in this beautiful green. I love that it's translucent so you see the lights of the Christmas tree behind. Isn't that pretty? All of this done by hand. You have two in the green. You're gonna get two in this beautiful red. How gorgeous is that? Once again, translucent. So you see the Christmas lights through it. And then two in this beautiful burgundy wine. Isn't that gorgeous? So six ornaments in all, absolutely beautiful. Couldn't be just more stunning. I love those. So we have other beautiful ornaments on the tree. This, you're going to get a set of six in this, and I think it's gorgeous. It looks like a beautiful little Christmas present. It's a matte silver ornament with gold and then in the glitter and then red in what looks like bows on all four sides and holly berries and then holly, holly berries and crystals and holly leaves and glitter. Even the top is glittered. Isn't that beautiful? You're going to get six of those. It looks like a little magical Christmas present. I love those. And then we have all throughout, you're going to see like here's a red ornament, here's a burgundy ornament, 
here's a red, here's a gold glitter, here's a burgundy, here's a smaller, here's a gold glitter. So you're gonna have this 42 piece ornament set that is red and burgundy and gold. You're gonna have different sizes, you're gonna have all three colors, and you're gonna have different textures. You're gonna have glitter and high polish. So these are really gonna bring your Christmas tree together without having to buy a million different sets separately. It's all put together for you, and I love that. I think it makes everything so much easier. Now, we also have, I have to say, one of the prettiest ornaments here. This is gonna be a set of three ornaments. They're bigger glass ornaments. They're silver in the background. They have gold glitter going around, black stripes going around, very rich. Now these could go on a rich tree like we have it, rich and formal. It could go more contemporary. It could go more masculine. It can go a million different ways. We have the round, the onion, and the finial. You get all three of those and they are stunning. Now, I have to say the star of the tree is probably the ribbon because the ribbon is amazing. I wish I had a beautiful long jacket and had this on, it'd be so rich. So this is a beautiful four inch wide wired ribbon. This is 10 yards in one ribbon, 10 yards. And it's gonna be a beautiful matte black in the background with this gorgeous gold and then sparkly silver. Isn't that amazing? I mean, when you look at that, doesn't that look like one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen? It reminds me of the robes and the vestments um, of the church. If you, when you go to Europe and you see what, what, the, what the clergy are wearing with all the embroidery and the beautiful detail, that kind of reminds me of that. I just think it's so rich. So I'm looking here to see if I missed anything because there's so many gorgeous things on this tree. Oh, did I get everything, Kate? All right, now over here, I do want you to see just a few more things. Um, oh, amaryllis, we have amaryllis on the tree. And this is gonna be an amaryllis that actually has four flowers on one stem. So these are a great value. Um, we're offering these individually because they are such a great value. So you can really stock up if you want. We put these in the trees in a number of places. We just filled up this container here. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I love amaryllis for Christmas and these are fabulous. This tree, this tabletop tree, this is a 21 inch tree. This makes it the perfect tree to anchor all of your tabletop Christmas tree collections. They don't all have to go together. We were talking about this specifically here. You can take any other tabletop tree and layer it. And it's going to look amazing because then you're gonna have different textures and different heights. But you need one really tall one to make it work like this 21 inch. Look how beautiful it is. These are just over here on the side, so I was using them and kind of mixing and matching. See, look how beautiful when you mix and match. They just, everything makes everything look better. So a real forest has different trees, and your Christmas forest should have different trees, but you gotta have an important one to anchor it with, which is exactly what that one is perfect for. All right, did I miss anything? So many beautiful things, so little time. More little candle rings, hanging up the large eight inch candle ring. Oh, this collection is so beautiful. I cannot imagine anything in here that I would not love to have a million of them put on my tree. So the best time to start thinking about Christmas is early so you get all the best things and not the leftovers. And these are gonna be all the best things.